Rice University students sometimes have a reputation as being a bit unconventional, but it was in the school's infancy that they perpetrated a real rebellion. With war raging in Europe, President Woodrow Wilson called for preparedness, but when students returned to campus in fall of 1917, and with the U.S. now in the war, they found their college campus transformed into a military school. Men and women alike were required to wear uniforms. Males took courses in military science and tactics, while women studied hygiene and first aid. Cadets faced reveille at 5.45 each morning. They drilled twice daily, stood guard duty, were confined to their rooms much of the time, answered roll calls at each meal, and followed a list of 220 regulations. Discontent spread, and in January 1918, a scathing student publication appeared. Administrators responded with a defensive letter to parents, threatening to dismiss those who didn't show cheerful obedience to the rules. In the end, the Board of Trustees intervened, and in February, many of the most hated rules disappeared. When World War I ended in November of that year, life at Rice Institute returned to normal, but with one important change. School President Edgar O. Lovett added the positions of Dean and Registrar to deal with the needs of students, who could again have their freedoms.